What's up guys, it's Matilda, obviously, and today I'm going to talk about a few things that I've had on my mind since a specific day, and if you weren't there, I'm going to, I'm going to fill you in. So, the last time I streamed here on YouTube, something happened, I have no idea how, how it happened, or why it happened, but it did happen, and it was cray. Let me just tell you that, that was it was great. What happened was that I, I had my stream as usual and it went on like normal for around five minutes until a wave of haters just like flooded the live stream and they started saying horrible things. They were hundreds of haters and I've never experienced anything like it. I was just like, I was shook. Let me tell you that I was shook. During the live stream, I, I wasn't really offended by it. I just thought that it was weird. I didn't understand why it happened. I wasn't really offended or sad or anything like that. And during the live stream, a lot of my followers, you guys, told me that I should just like cancel the live stream and take care of myself. During this video, I thought that I would share some tips for you on how to overcome hate and why hate online is so common. I actually received a lot of questions on how I deal with hate and stuff like that, so I thought that I would collect everything that I, that I know in this video. And I'm also going to talk a little bit about things that have happened in my life. But yeah, that is what this video will be all about. But before we get into this video, don't forget to follow me on my socials, especially Instagram, because I'm most active on my Instagram. And also, fun time. Fun time. And also, don't forget to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe, and hit that little bell icon to get future notifications whenever I post and do all of that because that really helps me a lot. But now, let's get into this video. Okay, so first, before I get into the tips that I've collected, I thought that I would like read online on why cyberbullying is so normal and how common it actually is. 87% of teens have witnessed some, some form of cyberbullying and that's crazy. So I'm just letting you know that you are not alone. If you are experiencing cyberbullying or anything of that nature, it's an ongoing problem and a lot of people suffer from this and we're trying to to make the cyberspace a better place, but some people just wanna destroy it all. We have to stick together. That is why I'm making this video, but let's keep on going. Popular kids or teens may bully because hurting others makes them feel more powerful. Kids or teens who are less socially successful may bully because it helps them cope with their own low self-esteem. They think it helps them fit in with their peers. They have trouble empathizing with those they hurt. Let's get into the tips that I have collected on how to deal with with haters. The first thing that I have on my list is ignore it. Walk away or just ignore the comments. Don't react or respond to their mean words or what they're doing because if they say it to your face, try to ignore it as much as you possibly can. The reason why they're doing it, they want some sort of reaction, either an angry reaction or a sad reaction. They they're trying to create a scenario. If you don't react or respond, they'll most likely be bored with you and just stop it. However, if they get physical or threaten you in any way, shape or form, you have to report them either to a parent, a teacher, or just like the police. I also wanna add that I know that it's easier said than done to ignore the haters. I know that the first time you experience these things, you will most likely be hurt or you will most likely be offended and that's pretty normal. I mean, you wouldn't be human if you wouldn't be hurt when this is going on. However, if you don't ignore it, it will escalate. Take my word for it, I've been bullied the majority of my lifetime when I was younger. The more I reacted, the worse it got. Please ignore them to the best of your capabilities and most likely it will go away by time. And if it doesn't, that brings me to the next point that I'm going to talk about. Block the online haters as well as report them to the platform and if you know the person that is hating on you in real life like report them to the authorities or a person in your life such as a parent or a teacher as I said before and hopefully it all goes smoothly and you can just like avoid them in the future so yeah these are very difficult things especially if you know them in real life but try 
to seek help. If you don't seek help, it would it will only get worse. So try to find yourself some help. So advice number three, be kind and respectful, even to the haters. If you respond with love and kindness to a hater, they will most likely leave you alone in the future or they will try to bait you a little bit more and you will just like ignore them or be even kinder and they will have to stop because it's not working. They're not getting the response that they're after, so they will they will leave you alone. And also, this will make you seem like you have all of your emotion in check and everyone around you will be kinda, you know, impressed by your kindness and your sweetheart, even though you don't really mean it. But you know, they don't have to know that. But yeah, so that is another tip and number four, <laughs> stick with the supporter. Sometimes it's pretty easy or it's very easy to see all of the hate that you get. Even though one out of a hundred comments is mean, you will most likely, you know, you will most likely focus on the mean thing, but try to focus on your supporters, on the people in your life, focus on your friends or your family members that are there for you or the supporters online or your support group or whatever. Try to try to focus on the nice things in life. And I know that it's so easy to focus on the negative comments and the hate that you get, but try to tell yourself that you are worthy, you have love and you have support and they are not going to take that away from you. You are worthy and you are valid. So try to just like cut them out Focus on the supporters instead of the haters. That is my fourth tip. And next tip is remind yourself that comments from a hater are a reflection of them and aren't really about you. People who feel good about themselves do not feel the need to hate on others. People that are mean for no apparent reason, they are mean because they hurt, because they have nothing else to do. If a grown person goes online to hate on other people for the sake of hating, what kind of messed up person is that? They are most likely so alone and have nothing else to do. If you receive a lot of hate, just tell yourself that they're taking their precious time to send you a comment or a message. I mean, you're worthy of their time. Well, obviously, they're kind of a fan. That's what I tell myself and that's why I don't bother because I know that I would never put that time and effort into them, but they are putting the time and effort into me. Obviously, they're looking up to me, not, not the other way around because I would never put that amount of time into them. So please don't let them take any of your time. If you receive a long hate comment or just like any hate comment, just tell yourself that, oh my God, they are clearly interested in me. I am clearly someone that they are looking up to in some way, shape or form because they are putting that time and effort into you and you are clearly not putting that time and effort into them. So yeah, that is my fifth tip and now number six. <laughs> this one is kind of connected to the other point that we just talked about. Understand that hate can be a sign of pain. People sometimes lash out because they have other life struggles. Negative comments may have nothing to do with you. This is kind of what I said before. If a grown person or just like any person are going online to solely hate on other people, they can't possibly feel good about themselves to do that because it's not a normal thing to do. Take that into consideration when you're ignoring them. Be kind and respectful. If you don't like seeing their hate comments, just block them, ignore them. Do not put your time and effort into them and do not respond with an attack. If they are hurt, it's better to just respond with kindness or that's what I do for, <laughs> for the most part, if I'm going to be honest, sometimes I slip. Oops. Number seven, acknowledge your feelings. So talk to a trusted adult, a friend, or even a therapist to try to find yourself support and encouragement to still be you because you are worthy and you are valid. And sometimes we need help. You're not weak for finding help. You're not weak for getting support. That's just human nature. Please get yourself help if that's something that you need 
try to look at your supporters and a trusted adult or a friend or a therapist. It's you're not weak for getting help. You're just human. And the last one is keep being you. Keep moving forward, pursue your interest, be you. You are unique and you are good. You're amazing, you're a perfect girl, you're the best. <laughs> no, but honestly, don't stop being who you are because some people online or other people that you don't really care about tell you to change. I mean, you're the best on being you. So. Pursue the interests that you like, keep moving forward, be you, be who you are, do what you love because it's nothing wrong with being you. Like, why would you care about them? It's a they problem. Just because they hate their boring life doesn't mean that you have to change yours. You are amazing. So stop caring about other people and start living your life. Ignore the haters, ignore the stupid people in your life and start living yours. So yeah, that's my last tip for today and I truly hope and wish that these tips help you in some way, shape or form. Because when I was younger, my mom always told me to never stop being me. Ignore the haters, ignore the stupid people in your life and keep pursuing the things that you want to pursue and just be who you are because you are good and you are amazing. So. That is what she taught me and that is kind of why I am the person I am today because like I ignore them. I, I am not a victim. I am a soldier and I just soldier through and I will be stronger in the end of it and I will never see myself as a victim. If you don't like these tips, there are plenty of other advices and tips online. Just search the web. Go online and you just do some Googling. Googling, girl. And I'm sure that you will find yourself some good help. But yeah, I think that was everything for this video. And if you liked this video, please give it a like, comment, subscribe, and also hit the little bell icon to get future notifications whenever I post. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.